Hello everyone, I'm Maria, your RSBSA, virtual presenter. I'm here today to talk to you about georeferencing. Okay let's start this geo geo stuff. Georeferencing guidelines, for our georeferencers are, the field validators. Activity overview, the georeferencing of farm parcels, as the second component, of the updating of the registry system for basic sectors in agriculture RSBSA program, primarily aims to map the approximate farm area being tilled by the RSBSA registered farmer through the use of a global positioning system, GPS. Each georeferenced field shall be assigned with a particular GPX ID which shall be linked to the FFRS record of the registered farmer. And also, the activity adhered to the Rice Crop Manager RCM, protocol of measuring, the exact size of agricultural lands. Scope of the activity. The georeferencing activity shall cover all agricultural lands in the Philippines, scoping from regions I-13, CAR, and BARMM, prioritizing farm parcels of active RSBSA registered farmers. In case an agricultural land is owned by a non-registered farmer, RSBSA enrollment shall first be administered, ensuring the encoding of the record in the FFRS. To proceed with the georeferencing of the fields. Next, this is the concept of this activity, walking around the RSBSA registered farm area. Objectives. Specifically, the georeferencing activity aims to measure the approximate field area of the RSBSA registered farmers by adopting the Rice Crop Manager RCM protocol. Develop a database of georeferenced fields through Global Positioning System GPS mapping. Link other available and updated georeference database S maintained by bureaus and attached agencies of the department to the RSBSA georeference database. Provide reliable data on field area and geolocation for policy, program planning, and monitoring of the department. Prioritization of location. 1. Crops and or commodities, rice, corn plantation. 2. Land use, effective farm parcel. 3. Field size not less than 500 square meters in the RCM system. Continued to activity process flow. 1. Secure the RSBSA registration. The RCM generated GPX ID, which includes, farm location zip code, farmer's incremental number and the field incremental number. Alternative file naming convention, for FFRS records not yet migrated to the RCM system. Which Activity process flow, number 2. Download, print, and bring the farmer's master list, with corresponding RSBSA reference number, and GPX ID as reference during the field measurement activity. Activity process flow, number 3. Coordinate with the LGU officials, C, Mao and Barangay, of the target locations for georeferencing. Make sure to conduct a courtesy call, with officials and meet with the Agricultural Extension Workers AEW, for guidance in visiting the farm areas in their jurisdiction. Activity process flow, number 4. Schedule the field visit based on the suggested prioritization attributes. Commodities, crops, land use, and size of land. Activity process flow, number 5. Prior to the field visit, make sure to brief the registered owner, with regards to the purpose and schedule of the georeferencing activity, to avoid conflict of non-consensual conduct of area measurement. Activity process flow, number 6. Ensure that the, handheld GPS device is functional and operational, during the day of the field visit equipped with batteries, that are usable for the whole day duration of the activity. Number 7, set up the handheld GPS device using the recommended setting on the RCM protocol. Activity number 8, involve the farmer in the actual field measurement by guiding the field assistant, in identifying the actual declared boundaries of the field that is being measured. Activity number 9, after measuring the field, the field assistant must record the verified size on the field assistant's logbook. Make sure to affix the signatures of the farmer and AEW as proof of consent and certification of the data collection. See the sample of logbook of field assistant, or the geotaggers. Activity number 10. After signing the FAS logbook, the field assistant shall issue the RSBSA georeferencing stub as proof to the farmer that their field has been successfully measured. 
Here are the georeferencing materials. The Farmer's Master List, the Geo Referencers Log Book, or the FOS Log Book, where we are using our tablets for the Kobo Collect application. In the RSBSA Georeferencing Stub, that will be given to farmers as a proof of the successful field measurement. Those are the georeferencing materials and equipment. Now, let's go to the Georeferencers or FOS roles. The field assistant shall act as geotagger and encoder, and shall perform the following functions and responsibilities. First, arrange schedule of farmers to be geotagged, and prepare necessary device and supplies that will be used during the field visit. Second, collect data from the RSBSA registered farmers, prior the actual field measurement. Next is to, conduct field measurement and mapping, of declared farm areas of RSBSA registered farmers. Fourth, attend training sessions, workshops, meetings, and briefings with DA RFO and LGUs in relation to the conduct of the georeferencing. Number five, upload the GPX files. Encode data collected in, extract the FOS logbook information in the Kobo toolbox, during the field measuring activity through the RCM system and ICTS developed system, 6, validate, verify data collected with the AEWs and C, MAUs, to ensure accuracy and correctness of data, information, 7, provide feedback to the RSBSA RPMO or the Regional Program Management Office, on the progress of field activities, challenges and other issues that may affect efficient project implementation. And lastly, prepare and submit periodical work plans and accomplishment reports to the RSBSA RPMO supervisor. Resolving discrepancies and handling special cases. Cases. Discrepancies on size, infrastructures and other non-productive areas are located adjacent or nearby the farm field, storage facilities, irrigation systems, and the like. Resolution. Maximum size of 200 square meters of non-productive area may be accepted to be included in the area measurement. Infrastructures with size beyond the 200 square meters, tolerable area shall be separately measured and subtracted, from the total verified size from the GPS receiver. Field measurement technique taught by RCM team. Measuring fields with non-productive area within the field. See the excluded non-productive area during measurement. Case 2. Overlapping GPX tracks. The FA identified that a GPX track is overlapping with another GPX track. Resolution. The overlapping fields measured shall be re-validated and reconciled among farmers involved, if tilled by different farmers, to determine if the farm location and each boundary is correct and exact. The FA can also refer to the ownership document, S. As proof of land ownership and boundaries. Next case, georeferencing undeclared farm fields, farmer requested to include additional field, S, they are tilling aside from the declared fields during the enrollment. Our solution to this, the field assistant shall measure the additional field upon verification of the proof of ownership of the land. However, the field assistant shall ask the farmer, to comply with the needed documents for updating, submit a photocopy of the ownership document of the additional land and a filled out RSBSA enrollment form for updating, and request the C.MAO to certify. Once certified, the RSBSA RPMO shall update the FFRS record along with the additional field details. Fourth sample case, georeferencing field of RSBSA registered individual, with other livelihood category. During the field visit, the FA is informed by the farmer that the field they are previously tilling was transferred to a farm worker, fisher, and or an agri-youth. Resolution, the field assistant shall reschedule, the geotagging on the particular field, s upon verification of the proof of ownership of the land. Subsequently, the field assistant shall ask the farmer to comply with the needed documents for updating. Submit a photocopy of the ownership document of the additional land and a filled out RSBSA enrollment form for updating, and request the C.MAO to certify. 
Once certified, the RSBSA RPMO shall update the FFRS record along with the additional field details. Our last sample case, requests for re-measurement and division of geotagged fields, the farmer requests to divide a validated tract geotagged field. Resolution, the georeferencing activity shall prioritize fields that are not yet measured by any geotagging activities led by the department. In cases where farmer requests to divide his geotagged field, the field assistant or the RSBSA RPMO shall promptly inform the farmer that the updating of GPX tracks shall only be authorized with the endorsement of the seat MAO, if any modification in the planting or land activity has taken place. Any questions? So, that's all. Thank you. For other concerns, you may contact us at 054-631-3255 local IP 4563. Or you may email us at technical rsbsa.imc at gmail.com non-technical rsbsa.darfo5 at gmail.com darfo5rsbsa at gmail.com for more information watch and subscribe to our official youtube channel at rsbsa Beacol. again i'm maria your rsbsa virtual assistant on behalf of our rsbsa focal person and gis specialist Mr. Bjorn Boris D. de los Santos, of the Department of Agriculture Regional Field Office No. 5. This is all about georeferencing guidelines, I hope you understand. See you again, thank you for listening and have a nice day.